Okay, um, so Nate, why, why don't you tell everybody what you were doing here, um, you know, when I, when I called your phone and, uh, asked you to get on ASAP. <laughs> I was eating a delicious healthy lunch, I had a ham sandwich, and some carrots, like a good, good healthy boy. Were they, were they uh, baby carrots? They were indeed baby carrots. In fact, the babiest carrots I've ever had. These look like the babies of baby carrots. That's actually kind of ironic, because this... What I'm going to ask you is kind of about babies, in a way. It's kind of about babies. <laughs> but not about carrots? Uh, I mean, carrots, they, they, they could be there. <laughs> Just that, that's, that's not the uh, the main plot here. Oh, man, um, I know a lot more about carrots than I know about babies. <laughs> and I don't know anything about carrots. Well, I, well okay, it's, it's, it's kind of a weird thing that was happening, okay? Because, uh, okay, so I, I was at Meyers. Meyer, mm -hmm. if people don't know what that is, that's like Walmart. Just, it's not. <laughs> Yeah, it's a supermarket. It's it, a grocery I, store. I don't call it a market. I don't know if it's super. <laughs> um, it's, it's it's a market, of course. Um, okay, and I, and I and I walked past the bakery where uh, Brocker and Nate here used to work. I did. They they used to call him the uh, Swagsberry Doughboy. It's true. It was on my name tag. It's not true. <laughs> I made it all up. <laughs> um, and but I, I was actually at the store to like to like buy hot dogs because you know a, a guy wants a hot dog every now and then. You know you know what I'm saying? I mean Kogels. I mean, you normally, I would assume you would want hot dogs, <laughs> because uh, I don't think you can buy a single packaged hot dog. <laughs> I looked, um, <laughs> and so as I was in the store, you know, where Nate used to work and buying hot dogs, I, I was I was thought to myself, hot dog, broccoli, planet Earth, because that's where I live. It was, mm -hmm. all, it was all run through my mind, um, and then th this is the question here, which kind of does with babies, but kind of does with uh. Okay, a little, little, little bit more backstory here. <laughs> okay, all right. Find a bit. <laughs> um, you you've gone you know off or on the record, I guess, to say that uh, like you you would do like anything for any amount of money. Oh, absolutely. Um, but would you do like would you do like anything to like save the world? Um, it depends on how hard it was. Okay, well things are gonna be getting hard. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Would, would you the, the the title of this video, which you do not know yet, is um, would you, would you bang a dog? <laughs> but you know, there's a lot of sickles out there that are probably you know, well, probably not a lot of sickles, a lot of good people that are like crispy. What what a weird video title. Um, but you know, there there's stipulations. Would you bang a dog to save mankind? Uh, is it a male or female dog? Oh, it's got to be a female. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be. It does. Boy, go dogs can't have babies. <laughs> So I have to not only bang the dog, but I have to successfully create a child with the dog? A little bit more backstory here, okay? All uh, right, rewind it, rewind it. And by, by the way, if anybody is, uh, you know, a, a creator or developer for Fallout 5, um, TM Trademark, this is my idea. Can't oh, take no. it. Okay, so, so, so basically, um, I'm, I'm thinking, like, nuclear holocaust happens, right? That's the word? Like, when bombs go off? <laughs> uh, yes, that is the term. Okay, so basically Donald Trump becomes president, and, um... What exactly is happening here is that a you know, nuclear war, and you and a dog are the only ones left. But your DNA gets altered by this nuclear radiation, like a Fallout, I think, mm -hmm. maybe. I sure. played the game once. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, it, it, and basically, what happens is your guys' DNA mutates where you can now impregnate a dog, and a dog can have a little dog-human baby. Let's call him... Uh, thinking of, I was I, well, I was gonna say hog which is like a human and a hog but that's or a human and a dog that's, but that's an actual thing that's taken so we can go like humogs or or dumans <laughs> Dude, dumans <laughs> yeah um but but basically here is like you know there there's adam adam and eve right like, like they're pretty famous for <laughs> creating mankind <laughs> so <laughs> yep adam and eve created mankind yeah well I'm, scientifically accurate go on <laughs> From a scientific standpoint, they did it. They banged. I mean, I, I guess if you want to go, you know, more uh, back in the lore a little bit. I mean, God <laughs> created Adam lore. and Eve. <laughs> God created Adam and Eve to bang and make humans. Um, so basically, like that. So basically, you are now Adam, and this dog is a girl, so you can call her Eve if it makes you feel better. <laughs> uh, but it's basically Nathan and Eve, where Eve becomes a dog. Um, so, so really, you either you know you you save mankind. You, you you can let mankind die. Like if you are you're the only two left. I mean, mankind, I guess, is already kind of dead. Yeah. Um, but you you create a new humog, do, do species, <laughs> do, do, that will now rule the world. And um, you know, 
you'll go down in like history and like the the Bible or whatever it's called is <laughs> the uh, the savior of the Dumans <laughs> or the creator and, of the Dumans. And I can do this by creating one new Duman. Well, I mean, you know, I'm sure Eve had to. I guess I guess it's a dog, so it would be a litter of Dumans. Yeah, it'd be a, it'd be a litter of Dumans. <laughs> All right. Um, so I have one important question then. Okay. Is it good? You tell me. I don't oh. know. No, no. <laughs> Is it good though? It it it's as good as banging a dog would be. <laughs> okay. I mean, this isn't the, the the fact that this is what happens does not make it any better or worse. It's you you are banging a dog. <laughs> the the, I... the radiation has, has no effect on the uh, sexual pleasures of the the dog. Oh, human, uh... <laughs> that was an unpleasant sentence to hear. <laughs> here here's the one of at least three problems. There's a lot of hair going on on a dog. Okay. A lot of hair going on. Yeah. Just like a lot. <laughs> Just all over the place, a lot of hair. I mean, it could be like, we one of those, uh, uh, what are those, like, those naked, those naked hairless dogs? I guess, is that what they're called? Oh. <laughs> That's just no hair. <laughs> uh, I think somehow that would be worse. Okay. They're very, those dogs are very wrinkly. They're, <laughs> some people are into that kind of thing. Ah. Uh... <laughs> There's, I mean, there are some people into everything. <laughs> there is someone out there watching this video who's like, no brainer, man. This is right up my alley. I'll do it for free. I'll do it if you're not, I'm not saving the world. Right. So, I mean, w would you do that? Or would you just, like, let just, like, the world just, like, cease to exist as it is? I mean, it's going to be different anyway. There's, you know, uh, doomans walking yeah. around. But they're still kind of like humans. The, the second question I have... Are the Dumans cute? Because it's a dog-human hybrid. Are they horrifying mutant monsters? Or are they just, like, charmingly adorable? I, I mean, I, I think about it in terms of this way. Um, if, like, an alien were to come to our planet, we'd be like, oh my god, that's hideous looking. If it's just, like, your stereotypical looking alien. Uh, but on their planet, they're like, you look good. <laughs> so, so, so it's kind of like this. Like, like, sure, like, to your average human, it's going to be like, yeah, this is kind of weird. Um, but this is your this is your little baby litter of Dumans, so I don't think you're gonna think but, anything against them. <laughs> but I mean, like, is this is this like it looks like a human but has like dog ears and a nose, or are we talking like top half human, bottom half dog? It crawls around in all fours and um, is like the look. It's from Pan's Labyrinth. It's just this nightmare creature. Uh, I, I I didn't really think about that. <laughs> um, but I, I guess like in terms of you know it, it might start off a little rough, but over time evolution will do its thing. Yeah. <laughs> Make so, humans look a little bit uh, not so crazy. So so I'm doing this to save the world, but then I then I see the fruits of my labor, and it's these tiny little mutant demons going, Father, Father, yeah. <laughs> give me milk. <laughs> milk comes out. Yeah, that's another They don't thing. know. They're kids. They don't know <laughs> how it works. And, like, everything else... Well, I guess not everything is around because, like, everything's been destroyed by the uh, <laughs> nuclear holocaust, but you could save the world. Would, would, would you do this thing? Uh, or would you just let the species die out? But, you, but you, you'd be, like, a superhero. Yeah, no, I, I'd do it. Okay. I would do it, because then, <laughs> then, like, generations after I'm gone there would still be like statues of me in paintings like you know that painting of like god reaching his hand out uh <laughs> to adam except it would be me. It, it, it would be you handing like a litter of dogs like a bone <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but you know you, you know keep in mind that sure you'll be remembered but you'll be remembered as the guy that which nobody's gonna care about because everybody's dead but oh yeah you're gonna have to think by your about in your mind like w would my mom be proud of me <laughs> Well, I mean, she's already not, so what do I have to lose? <laughs> I got apparently your virginity to a dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, so that was kind of just it. That's was kind of why I wanted to talk to you. I'm I'm glad I did not stop eating my lunch for this. <laughs> I kind of lost my lunch because of this. <laughs> um, and I think probably about 100 subscribers, but you know, so uh, you, you win some, you lose some. It'll all be worth it in the end when the apocalypse comes and I've already thought my, uh, my solution through.